Welcome to the Success Channel where we building champions for life. Hey, this is a good one, man. We talking to a young man searching for naval aviation, Air Force aviation, just want to go fly jets. Hey, man, that's a lot of people's dreams, man. It's easily achieved if you do the right steps. Got six, seven people in flight school right now. You know, it's not an impossible dream. You just got to do the right thing, man. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did. Hey, got to sign up for the subscribe button. YouTube has changed the algorithm. They ain't sending my videos out to everybody that's on my subscriber list. Hit that notification bell. Get that little ding when I drop some more. Goomba, ya fire. Hope you enjoy. All right, big dog. What you got going on? What's your questions? What you trying to go do? How can I help you? Growing up, I was, I don't know, not really guided very well. Dad was a hard worker, but not very good at directing. I had to take care of him for my entire high school career, basically. So I couldn't really focus there. Played varsity football, got out of there right before I graduated. My dad died, and then that threw me way off. So graduated high school with like a two, three, didn't go to school, and then waited a couple of years. I uh, lost like a hundred pounds, got fit, got into school. Now I'm about to graduate next semester. Just took my AFOQT today, trying to be a pilot select. The biggest thing is that I've gone fit to fat, fit to fat. How much uh, you weigh right now? Right now, I think I'm like 225, 220. And how tall are you? 5'11". So yeah, just been fit to fat a few times. This last time I did really good. I did one of two Smiths. So I think it was a eight week program. Made it five and a half weeks, but I messed my elbow up. You talking about Stu Smith's program? Yeah, his, he had a cardio calisthenics program. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. But you're just trying to go fly, right? Yeah. Okay, what's your day look like? I just got out of school, but for the last four months, it was Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I had school from 8 a.m. to, I think it was like 2.30, 3.30. Then I would go to work, and then Tuesday, Thursday, Saturdays, I would work 12 hours as well, and then Sundays. What are you doing for Saturday. work? I work at Discount Tire. Okay, so you grinding it out right now. Yeah. Okay. And I've been doing that for eight years since I was in high school. I'll try to hit the gym early in the morning, right after school, just when I have time. Usually it's three or four days a week. Okay. But I fell off pretty hard. And you want to go fly in what service? Air Force. Okay. What's your GPA in college right now? Right now it's like a 3-3. Three, three. It's going to be close, right? Yeah. What are they saying? Not yet. I have to get my scores back. I should be within the next week or so. Then I've got one other test. I have to take the T Bass, which is just a test of like basic aviation skill. It's just like a video game. Yep. And, and you've been that, flying, right? Yes, sir. So how much flying you got done? Right now I've got twelve hours. I have to do it per semester. I just started getting enough money where I could basically prepay fifteen hundred. So I'll probably pay two grand next semester. Okay. And then that'll put me pretty close to my private license. Air Force hard to go fly in, brother. I think you know that. If you can't go fly in the Air Force, you probably can go fly in the Navy. Just the facts, yeah. right? Everybody starts to try to fly in the Air Force, but I've never not got anybody into the Navy to go fly. So just keep that in the back of your head. You got to lose some weight, though, because you got to be at the minimum standard, correct? Yeah. So what kind of questions you got for me? My biggest thing is just how to stay at the top. and I just want to be a fucking savage, man. So have you read Relentless? I have not. Okay, get the book Relentless. Okay, it's like the Bible for savagery, okay? Look, man, you got a full-time job. You got full-time college. You got a bunch of shit going on. Now, you graduating when? Next semester? Yeah, May 23. Okay. You paying for everything yourself, I take it. I got pretty lucky and I was able to have financial aid help me out. But I do live on my own. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I know you got bills and shit. Discount Tire ain't paying you a fucking gangster-ass salary for you to be able to do whatever you want. How much are you running a week right now? Right now, zero. How much are you swimming a week? Zero. If you just started, and maybe not running, right? You 5'11", 220. Maybe if you just start walking two miles a day. I know you're working a lot. You got to figure out when you can do it, right? Maybe on lunch break, maybe in between on a free period, whatever you got to do, okay? Two miles every day, all seven days of the week. If you're doing fit to fat, have you looked at Whole30? I've never heard of it. So Google Whole30. If I hit Whole30 and I just eat clean, I will lose a bunch of weight no matter what. I don't have to work out, but you got to be disciplined. There ain't no cheating. You got to cut out dairy. You got to cut out wheat. You got to cut out corn. I, I eat a lot of bananas and almond butter and almonds That's and rice cakes. That's like my go-to in chicken. 
I can't eat pork. I can't eat eggs. Some people can eat eggs on Whole30. I can't eat eggs. You got to add some physical activity because are you working 12 hours at discount tire or you got another job? No, I work 12 hours discount. Are you standing there selling tires or are you moving tires? I just started. They just moved me up front. So for the last six, seven years, I was hustling out back. doing the. Okay, so you were working hard. Yeah. Okay. You got to find out where you can walk two miles a day. Because when you go to flight school, you got to swim a mile in a flight suit. In the pool You gotta try to figure out If you can swim right If you can swim Five days a week And you can walk Two miles a day Even if you just go swim For 20 minutes man You ain't gotta swim a bunch Do you know how to swim? I have absolutely no idea I can swim Like I can tread water I'm just out of shape And I can run too It's just I've never made swimming Like a thing Okay To be a pilot You have to be able to swim You know that right? Yeah Okay They gonna get your ass In swimming now In a flight suit In a helmet In a dunker the Dilbert Dunker. So you better start working on swimming. You ain't got but six months. Have you looked at the Army Warrant Officer Program? Yeah, and I've spoken to a few. They've got like maybe two fixed wing aircraft. Absolutely. Everybody wants fixed wing. Just remember, sometimes you got to yeah. get in where you can fit in, right? Yeah. Are you rich? No. Okay, so you'd rather be flying than changing tires, correct? Yeah, you're right. There's a new program now that some of my people have put together, and you go fly helicopters and still go fixed wing commercial when you get out. A bunch of helicopter pilots are coming out and they're transitioning into commercial airlines. You got to work on your last couple, your last four or five years in the military. You're going to do all your instructor ratings. You're going to do all that stuff. You're going to start flying commercial before you get out, build up your fixed wing time. And then when you get out, you have your fixed wing time and your rotary time and you're able to go fly Can Air or the medium sized Bombardier. What do they call Embarcaderos? The regional jets? In whatever they are. Embargo? Yeah, whatever they're called. Whatever the fucking plane is with jet I mean, engines on it. I'll, I'll, but the regional yeah, jet, and then you'll fly that for two years, and then you'll be able to transition into big boys. Yeah, that's the thing. Everybody wants to do that. I don't see myself doing any type of regional anything. My biggest thing is I've wanted to serve for a long time, and I picked the hardest thing that I thought would be beneficial and, I guess, exciting for me. I'm just giving you some options. You got to make your choices, right? Yeah. I'm not living in your shoes. I'm just giving you, like... The Air Force is a hard nut to crack as far as pilots go. Everybody who starts at the Air Force to be a pilot. The Navy, in my opinion, my ball boy is flying helicopters right now in the Navy. He's a smart dude, good dude. I haven't had anybody denied Navy aviation yet. Not one person in the last 20 years. I got six people in flight school right now. It's just the Air Force gets picky and grades, and I don't know what they're looking for in the Air Force, but there's a reason they lack a lot of things in the Air Force. They get so hard. Everybody wants to go fly in the Air Force, okay? So just keep that in mind. And then you got Army Warrant Officer Program will probably take you overnight, but you're going to fly egg beaters. But if you want to stay in, shit, it don't matter what you fly in, right? Yeah. You got the Coast Guard. I don't know how hard it is to go fly in the Coast Guard. Coast Guard doesn't have a ton of pilots. They got a ton of helicopter pilots, but I don't know... How hard it is. I have a couple guys that flew in the Coast Guard, but they were all Coast Guard Academy grads. And I haven't put anybody in the Coast Guard. What else? Honestly, I, just, I think the physical stuff is probably just the biggest thing. It's like knowing how to run. Because I was doing, like, I think 15, 20 miles a week for, I think it was like three months there. And then, like I said, I just ate shit and fell off. I'd love for you to run three miles a day, seven days a week, every day. Every other weekend, take a Sunday off. Three miles ain't going to kill you, but you got to start swimming because if you can't swim, you'll fail the swim test and you'll be out the flight program overnight. So you might as well just start swimming now and get ready for it. And I'm not asking you to work out a lot. I'm talking about maybe 25 minutes on a run, 20 minutes in the pool, 45 minutes a day, but you got to plan for it, right? Then you got to get in shape to build up to it. Maybe you start running a mile a day or you walk two miles for a couple weeks and then you start running a mile and just get it done. Because you're not going to be able to go in the military at 5'11", 220. They're not going to take you. They're going to yeah. say, you overweight right now. You're not going to pass standards. They're not going to let you in. I'll probably pass tape, honestly. Like they're not going to tape you to get you in. Yeah. Most of the time, they're not going to tape you. So if you can't pass on that scale, they're not going to let you in. Okay. They give you tape once you get in, and they deem that you are right. You know what I'm saying? Don't quote me on that. I'm sure I'm going to have some people call me up and try to get me on that one, but I'm just telling you. They're going to fail you on standards at MEPS. Yeah. How's your vision? Correct. I do have to wear glasses right now just because I think it is because I am overweight a little bit. And I just feel like shit when I wake up because okay. you know, I'm not doing nothing. 
All right. right. You got some work to do, man. Yeah. Just stay in touch, bro. I mean, the pilot list is long, bro. If you don't do well on the test, you got to go study for it hard. You got to buckle down and study for the test. That's the big deal. Get the minimum and maximum for the Navy, and they automatically accept you. I passed the AFOQT once. I had a week to study, so I got the minimums on that thing. But uh, The minimum maximums? So the minimum maximum means that you're guaranteed to go fly. Not the minimums. The minimum maximum. Yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah, okay. The minimum ain't going to get you a flight billet. There's a whole bunch of people out there at the minimum. You're going to have to study. Yeah. Okay? What else, big dog? Anything else? So as far as, like, you said for running and swimming, is there, like, a like a baseline thing that I should be doing? Just get in the pool, swim freestyle. Can you swim freestyle? Yeah. Okay, get in the pool and see if you can swim across the pool freestyle. I just need you to swim for 20 minutes a day. I don't care what you do. Five days a week, five days in a row. And then you got to start working out, man. Even if you get in the fat boys or you get into the jets, like, there ain't no out-of-shape jet pilots because they all trying to pull more Gs. Yeah. You yeah. can ride the bike also, man. You just got to have activity, man. You got to burn more calories, especially if you're in the front of discount tires. You ain't slinging wrenches all day. You're in the front trying to sell tires, upgrade people. All right, partner. Shoot, good talking right, to you. Man. Stay in contact. Don't go nowhere. You got problems. You don't get picked up. Let me know. Man, great conversation with my man, Chris. Woo! Sometimes it's tough, man, when you don't have a lot of guidance in life trying to figure out exactly what the next steps are, how to achieve your goals, how to get to your dreams, man. Hopefully you got something out of this one, man. I know I'm pushing relentless hard because people call me talking about they want to be a savage, but are they really willing to do savage shit to get there? If you haven't read Relentless by Tim Grover, go get the book, man. They ain't paying me shit. It's just the Bible of savagery. Hey, man, as always, man, we building champions for life over here. <laughs>